Okay, a couple of mornings ago we got up, it was 58 degrees, it's starting to cool off in the fall of the year here in southern Indiana, and sure enough, I think I waited too long, something else distracted me. Okay, normally with the heater grid unhooked, as we have on our truck, you want the starter within just uh, two or three seconds. It makes no difference because you don't have any benefit from the heater grid. You might as well, as soon as you turn the key, is go ahead and start the truck. I usually just wait a couple of seconds. Whereas if you did wait for the heater grid to cycle, it doesn't know that it's unhooked from the solenoid or from the grenade bolt itself. So what it's gonna do, you're gonna get this warning. So what happens if you wait the five to seven seconds and it tells you it's okay to start and you start it, somewhere along the line in the information process in the CAN bus or the CPU, the engine control management system, it knows that the heater grid was not activated and you're going to get that check engine light. I have no idea what the code is, but we are going to find out. We'll go ahead and hook up the X-Tool D7 scan tool, and I have not done this yet, and we'll go ahead and see what it is. And let's go out and just take a quick look at where I unhook the conductor going to the killer bolt assembly on the heater grid. Okay, here's our heater grid cable. It is unhooked. This went to the solenoid, which is tucked right in there underneath the battery. Let's see if it'll focus. We're unhooked there. So this cable will run through the front of the motor and over on this guy right here. Now let's go in and fire up the X-Tool D7 and just see what the trouble code is or we'll try to find out at least what turned on the check engine light. Okay, we know we got a check engine light. There's our CEL. Now let's go ahead and see what we can find. Automatic scan, system selection, let's do the automatic. PCM, power control module, failure. Okay, I'll leave this in real time. When we get done, we'll hit that DTC, we'll hit that DTC report. Our track, uh, driver door module, failure three. I have no idea what that's about. Passenger door module. Well, that's interesting. Under the PCM, intake air heater system performance is active. I'm not sure what's going on with the doors, so what we're going to do is go ahead and hit that number three, the PCM, see what it shows. Uh, read trouble code. P2609. It is an active code. If you look under trouble code status, it just shows it's active. We're not going to report it. It's got it online. Uh, you can communicate with technicians, but you got to pay a, some kind of a fee, some kind of a service. We know we got the code, and we know why the code came on. It came on because we did not start the truck before the end of the heater grid cycle completed itself. So we're going ahead and try to clear it. The engine must not be running. You want to clear them all? I think I do. Okay, it says they're cleared. And sure enough, I didn't come up, but check engine light went out. So we're good to go. I drove it for a few days after the CEL did trigger on, after the heater cycle grid um, commanded it to come on, but it did not clear itself. So just for grins, I'm going to hit diagnosis on that door. That's a new one. I'm not sure what's... Well, I think I know what happened there. I put auto boost tow mirrors on my truck and I don't have the power fold. It's active. I must have tried the button, even though it's not going to do anything on the mirror fold. These are manual fold out. They're manual. I really like them though because I did not have the tow mirrors. This truck was ordered with the sport mirrors. So all is good in the land of Ram and the 6.7 Cummins. Hey, drive safe out there. Thanks for watching and have a good one.